Okay, dividing fractions is very similar to multiplying. There's just one step um, at, the, at the start. Um, I sometimes teach my class KFC. Okay, so it, KFC stands for keep, flip, change. So keep means we keep the first fraction the same. F means we flip the second fraction and C stands for change the divide to a multiply. So okay, keep, so I'm going to keep 1 over 2, same. I'm going to flip 3 over 4 to 4 over 3. And I'm going to change the divide to multiply. Okay, from there on, it's just exactly what we've been doing the whole time. Train tracks along the top, along the bottom. So 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. Um, remember, you need to simplify as well. So I could have simplified the 2 and the 4. Um, if I divide them both by 2, but I'll just do it now. So I can divide 4 and 6 by 2, which gives me 2 over 3. Okay. Um, next one, we'll do 4 divided by 8 over 9. So remember, 4 means 4 over 1 divided by 8 over 9. So now I'm going to do my keep flip change. So I'm going to keep the second fraction the same. So I'm going to keep 4 over 1. I'm going to flip the second one upside down. And I'm going to change it to a multiply. Okay, this time I'm going to check the diagonals, which they're both divisible by 4. And now I can do by multiplying. So 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 2 is 2. So the answer to that one is 9 over 2. And the last one, um, we're going to change. We've got 1, 1 over 7 divided by 5 over 6. And we're going to, we're going to change it to a top-heavy fraction. So 1 times 7 is 7, plus 1 is 8. So it's 8 over 7 divided by 5 over 6. So now I keep that change. So I can keep the first fraction the same. Change the second fraction upside down. and um, Sorry, flip the second fraction upside down and change the divide to multiply. Now I just multiply along the top, along the bottom. 8 times 6 is 48. 7 times 5 is 35. Okay, and that's my final answer.